So what is multi-criteria decision-making? MCDM, as it is often called, or also known as multi-criteria decision analysis, is a method used to prioritize, rank, or choose from a variety of different alternatives or options based on multiple criteria. For example, you might think about which patients to prioritize for treatment in a hospital, or which project to invest money in. Or maybe you're thinking about something more personal, like buying a new house. In MCDM, the options that you're ranking or choosing between are referred to as your alternatives. In the case of looking at a different house to buy, your alternatives would be the houses. When buying a house, you have several different things to consider, like how many bedrooms a house has, what the view is like, whether or not you like the design, and whatever else you care about. These things are referred to as your criteria, which is what matters to you when choosing between different alternatives. Then, for each criterion, you have to specify different levels. So, for example, a view might be poor, okay, or great, or the design might be ugly, okay, or excellent. After you've specified your criteria, 1000 Minds will ask you a series of questions where you have to choose between two hypothetical alternatives. The questions will be something like, do you prefer a house with a nice view but ugly design, or a house with a poor view but excellent design? In other words, you always have to make a trade-off. This step is therefore appropriately referred to as your trade-offs. 1000 Minds uses the trade-offs you make to determine how much each of your criteria matters to you. These weights or relative importances are called preference values. Then, your alternatives will be scored and ranked according to these preference values and the alternative's performance on each criterion. You can add alternatives either before or after making trade-offs. But your perfect alternative might not be the one with the highest ranking. Maybe you found the ideal house, but the cost is way beyond your budget. If you specify the costs under costs and other considerations, you can use the value for money chart to analyze them alongside the alternative score and choose an alternative that is more suitable for you. You can use other considerations for any factors that are either negative or neutral, such as the house price or what neighborhood it's located in. Or you can even use other considerations to store arbitrary information, such as the address of each house that you're considering. 1000 Minds breaks down complex decision making into these simple steps so that you can enjoy making better decisions. And if you need any help, we're always here for you. Let 1000 Minds show you a better way to decide.